It's 4pm, it's time for Electronics Club. Absolutely brilliant to be here. Harrison, how are you doing? Good. Yeah? What have you been up to this week, my friend? Well, I've been making some scratch. Making some scratch? Okay, cool. We'll have a look at that in a minute. What else? Well, I've been making some cool things, actually. Yeah. I've... Um, made like a ball run. Okay, so this has come from Harrison's interest in Gravitrax. Some of you might know Gra Gravitrax. It's a kind of, uh, well, I guess it's STEM related, you know, it's a kind of engineering related toy. Have you got an example of it back there? Do you want to grab it and I'll make some room? Mm -hmm. On the workbench. Right now, we're going to talk about Gravitrax. You've got this to catch the ball. He's trying to make a tower of Gravitrax so that the ball can go around the outside and then back up to the top. Have you done it? Yeah. Good. I'll nice shut up now. You talk us through it. Yeah. So um, these are magnetically controlled. Yeah. So when up, when, if this hit ball yeah, hit that bit there, yes. then it would make that fly over there. Yes. And then hit that, that ball would hit this hammer, which then flies down and goes into there. Okay. And that looks really good on slow mo. Okay. Well, we can't do slow mo yeah. because we're live to Twitter and YouTube, but we can do it live action. Off we go. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Oh! Oh, that was absolutely brilliant! You smashed that, dude! That was absolutely brilliant! So this is just a small example of what Harrison is capable of. What I'll show you is something that's much cooler that he started work on this week. Yes, there we are. Okay, so... Okay, so this is the start of the video. What's this section that we're looking at here? So... Um, Maybe you could use your fingers on here so people can see. Yeah. What you see there is, you see that piece of plastic there, which is actually um, a thing that you put sticks together with, but I was just being creative. That's this thing, thing here, the white yeah. object there, then with I a put, ball, it's got a ball in it. Then I put a ball in there, then I put loads of knives and connected them with tape to keep the ball not from sliding off. So, yeah, so it goes down a track. Yeah. yeah. So straight. Yeah. And then it hits that pan there and it bounces really high. That's the idea. So it goes to the first pan. Then bounces all the way there to two other pans. All the way there. Okay, good. Yeah, and then and then if it makes it down between those pieces of wood, where is it heading to? Um, it goes in the glass. Oh, nice. Yeah. I like that. So, off the top, uh, down over three yeah. three three pans with a bit of a bounce. Yeah. There you go. Can you see the ball coming? It's down to the second pan now in slow mo, bouncing. Yeah, you can see it onto the third pan. Then it just bounces just off the wood and into the glass. Absolutely superb, that's absolutely brilliant. That's, I mean, that's as good as the, the grammar tract, except it's a bit large because it's absolutely massive. I'm very impressed with that. I don't know. Yeah, okay, I think that's absolutely brilliant. Some of you uh, who've watched episode one will know in the first week we made a blinking LED, all right, a little light emitting diode that we made blink using this kit here which is what this box is full of. A Raspberry Pi, all right? Doesn't really matter what model you've got, they all work. We did that last week. You can check that out and find this kit uh, at a really good price because Maplin, God bless them, have agreed to support this project and do their kits for uh, what they call cost. So um, that's the cheapest you'll be able to get these. Now, this isn't an advert for Maplin. You can get them wherever you want. The guys just wanted to support Electronics Club, yeah. didn't they? So uh, go along to mapping.co.uk slash electronics club and you'll find uh, the uh, video evidence of what we made last week, instructions on how to make the flashing LED and instructions on this week's project, which I'll tell you in a minute. Because first, I want to go back to what Harrison was saying about scratch. Now, it's interesting because I think this, let me just get the, uh, yeah. the, the, the go symbol again. Yeah. It's interesting because this is made by a scratch programmer extraordinaire. Go for yeah. it, Harrison. And go the person who we actually, actually made our scratch project 